Yes, student. Today we are going to start solving exercise one point two. Under this, given below are some triangles identified in which figure ray P M is in which figure ray P M is the bisector of angle Q P R. Ray P M is the bisector of angle Q P R. For this, first we take P Q upon P R. The value of PQ is a seven, and the value of PR is a three. That is our first equation, and after that we take QM upon MR. QM is a what? Three point five upon one point five. Three point five multiplied by ten. For removing this decimal, we multiply it by ten. One point five multiplied by ten. What we get? Thirty five upon Fifteen, five seven जा thirty five, five three जा. So QM upon MR is equal to what? Seven upon three. That is second. So PQ upon PR is equal to seven. Uh, PQ upon PR is equal to QM upon MR. MR from One and two, from one and two. Therefore, PQ upon PR, QM upon MR. Therefore, by the converse of, by the converse of angle bisector property, by the converse of angle bisector property, PM is the bisector of angle QPR. Therefore, PM is the bisector of bisector of Angle Q P R. What's the reason? The reason is by converse of angle bisector property. Angle bisector property. Yes. Under this second question, in which we have to decide whether PM is the bisector of angle QPR or not, that figure is this RPQ, where RP is a seven, PQ is a ten, RM is a six, and MQ is a eight. So, like the first sum, we take PR upon PQ is equal to seven upon ten. That is first, and after that R M upon M Q. R M is a six, M Q eight, two three is a six three upon four. R M upon M Q is equal to three upon four. That is our second equation. So P R upon P Q not equal to R M upon M Q. From one and two, therefore, ray PM is not bisector of not bisector of angle Q. Sorry, angle R. Yeah, Q P R by converse of BPT. Oh, sorry, by converse of angle bisector property. Angle bisector property. So, student, I will do for you. I will uh, question number one and question number two. Question number three, you will do as a assignment because. This is like a question number one and two. So question number three from question number one is a assignment for you. Yes, our question number two is what in triangle PQR PM is equal to fifteen. This PM is equal to fifteen. PM is equal to fifteen. PQ full PQ is a twenty five. PR is equal to twenty and NR is equal to eight. NR is equal to eight. For this. We first 
पी क्यू इज इक्वल टू वॉट पी एम प्लस एम क्यू दैट मीन्स पी क्यू द वैल्यू ऑफ पी क्यू इज अवॉट ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ पी एम इज अवॉट फिफ्टीन प्लस एम क्यू एम क्यू वी डोंट नो दर फॉर एम क्यू इज इक्वल टू वॉट ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस फिफ्टीन एम क्यू इज इक्वल टू टेन लाइक दिस हेयर पी आर इज इक्वल टू वॉट पी एन प्लस एन आर पी आर इज इक्वल टू वॉट ट्वेंटी एंड पी एन इज इक्वल टू वॉट वी डोंट नोट पी एन पी एन प्लस एन आर इज अ एट सो पी एन इज इक्वल टू वॉट पी एन इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी माइनस एट पी एन इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व पी एन ट्वेल्व एंड एम क्यू टेन एम क्यू टेन एंड पी एन ट्वेल्व पी एन पी एम फिफ्टीन नाउ वॉट शुड वी अप्रूव देन प्रूव दैट सेगमेंट एम एन पैरल साइड आर क्यू सो फर्स्ट वी टेक फर्स्ट वी टेक पी एम अपॉन एम क्यू द वैल्यू ऑफ पी एम इज अ फिफ्टीन एम क्यू इज अ टेन फाइव थ्री इज अ फिफ्टीन फाइव टू इज अ टेन पी एम अपॉन एम क्यू इज इक्वल टू थ्री अपॉन टू दैट इज आर फर्स्ट एंड आफ्टर दैट पी एन अपॉन एन आर इज इक्वल टू आर ट्वेल्व अपॉन एट दैट इज फोर थ्री इज आर ट्वेल्व पी एन अपॉन एन आर इज इक्वल टू पी एन अपॉन एन आर इज इक्वल टू थ्री अपॉन टू दैट इज सेकेंड सो पी एम अपॉन एम क्यू इज इक्वल टू पी एन अपॉन एन आर बाय पी एन बाय फ्रॉम सॉरी नॉट बाय फ्रॉम वन एंड टू देर फॉर बाय कन्वर्स ऑफ कन्वर्स ऑफ बी पी टी कन्वर्स ऑफ बी पी टी सेगमेंट एम एन पैरल साइड क्यू आर सो इट इज प्रूव इट इज प्रूव एम एन पैरल साइड क्यू आर सो अब क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इज वॉट इन ट्राइंगल एम एन पी एन क्यू इज द बायसेक्टर एन क्यू इज द बायसेक्टर ऑफ एंगल एम एन पी ऑफ एंगल एम एन पी इफ एम एन इज इक्वल टू फाइव पी एन इज इक्वल टू सेवन एंड एम क्यू इज इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट फाइव देन फाइन क्यू पी हर स्टूडेंट एम क्यू इज द बायसेक्टर सो वी सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन बाय angle bisector property by angle bisector property therefore what is angle bisector property angle bisector property is what mn upon pn mn upon pn is equal to mq upon qp by angle bisector property by angle bisector property Here mn is a what? The value of mn is a five, and the value of pn is a what? Seven. Mq is a what? Two point five, and qp is equal to we don't know. Qp is equal to we don't know. Therefore, qp is equal to two point five cross multiplication. Two point five multiply by seven divide by divide by five. So so for converting it into uh, conver uh, removing this decimal we write it as 20 25 into 7 and over here we write 5 into 10 50 25 1 25 25 2 50 2 1 2 2 3 2 5 0 is qp qp is equal to 3.5 the value of qp is equal to 3.5 so question number 4 Measure of some angles are given. Prove that AP upon PQ is equal to AQ upon QC. Angle of APQ. They give angle of APQ. Therefore, angle of APQ. Measure angle of APQ is equal to sixty degree. And measure angle ABC also sixty degree. And 
एंगल ए पी क्यू कॉन्ग्रेंट एंगल ए बी सी एंगल ए पी क्यू कॉन्ग्रेंट एंगल ए बी सी बोथ आर सिक्सटी डिग्री एंड बोथ आर करस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल्स बोथ आर करस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल्स बोथ आर करस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल्स ऑल्सो सो by the converse of corresponding angles when two angles are corresponding and they are congruent corresponding angles are always congruent so segment pq parallel side bc segment pq parallel uh, side bc therefore in triangle abc abc pq parallel side bc therefore by bpt theorem by bpt theorem what ap upon pb is equal to aq upon qc it is proved ap upon pb is equal to aq upon qc so question number 4 measure of some angles are given prove that ap upon pq is equal to aq upon qc angle of apq they give angle of apq therefore angle of apq measure angle of apq is equal to 60 degree and measure angle abc also 60 degree and angle apq congruent angle abc एंगल ए पी क्यू कॉन्ग्रेंट एंगल ए बी सी बोथ आर सिक्सटी डिग्री एंड बोथ आर करस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल्स बोथ आर करस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल्स बोथ आर करस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल्स ऑल्सो सो बाय द कन्वर्स ऑफ करस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल्स वैन टू एंगल्स आर करस्पॉन्डिंग एंड दे आर कॉन्ग्रेंट करस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल्स आर ऑलवेज कॉन्ग्रेंट सो सेगमेंट पी क्यू पैरल साइड बी सी segment pq parallel uh, side bc therefore in triangle abc abc pq parallel side bc therefore by bpt theorem by bpt theorem what ap upon pb is equal to aq upon qc it is proved ap upon pb is equal to aq upon qc so question number 5 is what students in trapezium abcd side ab parallel side pq parallel side dc side ab parallel side pq side uh, pq parallel side dc so there are three parallel sides side ab side pq and side dc so we solve this sum by property of three parallel lines and their transversal they give ap is equal to 15 pd is equal to 12 qc is equal to 14 and bq is equal to what so according to according to property of according to property of three parallel lines three parallel lines and their transversal and their transversal what's the property when three three lines are parallel then pap upon pd is equal to bq upon qc so ap is the what 15 it is what 12 it is we don't know we have to find that and this is 14 bq is equal to 15 multiply by 14 divide by 12 3 4 is a 12 3 5 is a 15 2 2 is a 4 2 7 is a 14 bq is equal to 35 upon 2 that is bq is equal to 17.5 the value of bq is equal to what 17.5 so student after solving question number 5 under exercise 
I will directly solve the question number 11. So question number 6, question number 7, question number 8, question number 9 and question number 10 is the assignment for you. I once repeat, question number 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 is the assignment for you. I am solving directly question number 11. What is that? In triangle ABC, ray BD bisect angle ABC. Ray BD bisect angle ABC and ray EC. Ray EC bisect angle ACB. If segment AB, if segment AB, congruent segment AC. If segment AB congruent segment AC, then prove that ED parallel. I draw over here ED. This is ED. ED parallel side BC. So we start proofing. First one solution. What's that? Ray. BD bisect angle ABC. Therefore, BD bisect ABC. Therefore, AB upon AB upon BC is equal to AD upon DC by angle bisector angle bisector property next this is also first we give it first number now ray ec parallel oh sorry ray ec bisect angle acb angle acb therefore acb ac upon BC is equal to AD upon DC. AD upon, sorry, AD upon DC, not AD upon DC. That is AE upon AE upon B. That is also by angle bisector property. Now, student, in starting, they give in a question that segment AB congruent segment AC. Segment AB congruent segment AC. Here AB, here AC. AB and AC are congruent. Therefore, what? AB and AC are congruent. Therefore, AB congruent AC. That is third. This one is the second. So, if AB and AC are congruent, so AD upon DC. AD upon DC is equal to AE upon AE upon B E from first, second, and third. From first, second, and third. Now, now, what I write by converse of BPT by converse of BPT AD upon AD upon DC is equal to AE upon B by converse of BPT segment ED parallel side BC. So it is proved by converse of BPT segment ED parallel side BC.